Imagine what this looks like if able to land a remote product manager position in the US-based company by working from your home country, such as Canada, UK, and Thailand, so that you're able to have the income and the flexibility. In this video, our product leader, Anthony, is going to share with you how he land a senior PM position in the US-based company while working from Canada and taking care of his two young children. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director of product and featured in Forbes. I've helped 100 people land their dream PM job offer in fan companies at Unicorn Startup and continue to get promoted as a part leader. If you're interested in product management course, you go to pmaccelerator.io to learn more. To learn the most effective way to become a product manager, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to be notified every time we turn on a new video every Wednesday. So make sure to hit the like button and let's continue today's part leader podcast series. Today we have a dad, uh, Anthony, he's also a product manager who's going to share with all of you guys regarding how he successfully become a product manager in a very different industry while being a very busy new dad. He's our guest speaker on our Product Leader podcast series, where he's going to share with you all the behind scenes stories regarding how he conquers these challenges. Let's welcome Anthony. Hello, Anthony. How are you doing? Hi, Nancy. Doing great. Thanks. Really looking forward to speaking with you today. Awesome. Anthony, welcome to join us. So can you do a quick introduction? Yeah, I'd be glad to. Uh, my name's Anthony Janikas, and I'm a product manager with GoDaddy in our e-commerce division. And I'm a data-driven product manager, you know, certifications in full stack web development, Scrum, cloud computing, all the normal stuff you'd expect. Uh, and I've got experience across uh, a few different industries in both B2B and B2C environments, but it's been a variety of roles over the years. So it's somewhat of a non-traditional path. Uh, so, you know, product management, of course, but prior to that, it was uh, consulting, it was SaaS sales, uh, uh, it was marketing. So uh, loving my role in GoDaddy, it's it's all consuming. I'm actually doing double duty right now. Interesting that you're noting that, you know, I'm a father of two young girls and so blessed to be that. I'm doing double duty because one of my colleagues is actually on parental leave right now and I'm taking over his products as well. So it's wow. full schedule, but uh, it, it's, you know, it's fantastic. Awesome. Thank you for sharing with us today all of your busy schedule. So Anthony, let's do this. Um, you mentioned that actually you have variety of background in consulting, in fitness industry, uh, and SaaS type of sales roles. And, and then now you are product manager in GoDaddy. Um, so can you tell us more regarding your challenges um, becoming a product manager in the tech industry, given you are actually transitioned from a fitness industry? Yeah, great question. You know, my experience to date in product management before shifting over to GoDaddy uh, I knew that I needed to have a specialized focus in order to make that jump. I did have aspirations to work for, you know, a big company. I, I wanted to work remotely. Our world has transformed so much since, you know, 2020. And with remote work becoming ubiquitous and, and common everywhere, I knew that I couldn't just waltz into a transition like that. If I wanted to work for a company in Silicon Valley, I'm also competing against, you know, other applicants and Beijing and San Francisco and Boston, Massachusetts, everywhere else. So I needed to bring it and I needed to bring my game to the next level. You know, your PM Accelerator program was absolutely instrumental in my success, of course. You know, the challenge that you face, first of all, is uh, the, the competitive landscape is the first thing that I'd say. And that's what I'm trying to convey here to your audience. It's obviously a hyper competitive environment. And yeah, you're compensated well, but there's a lot of people vying for those roles. So you've got to be bringing your best. And that's the biggest challenge uh, for sure, because there's really smart people and they also work very hard because if other people are putting in more hours than you, then they will have a competitive edge. And that all comes through. In my case, you know, being a new dad, I had a little bit of time off on parental leave and I was strategic about that, wanting to put my family in a better position. Mm -hmm. And I dedicated towards this job transition essentially full time with the same focus I would if I was on payroll in order to bring my game to the next level because I knew how competitive the landscape was. And I think that's even more the case today here and later in 2022. I mean, we've obviously understood and heard all the different cuts to different tech companies slashing 50% of their staff uh, amongst yeah. the fan companies in particular. And that makes a general atmosphere of anxiety, I think, for applicants who mm -hmm. are seeking to transition into a new role. And that was the second biggest challenge that I found was trying to separate the noise of, I'm characterizing as noise, those factors that are beyond your control. 
mm-hmm. be it the obvious decline in the economic uh, you know, environment and, and the job prospects becoming increasingly scarce. But you can't control that. What you can control is your performance in these interviews. What you can control is the research you do on you know the company that you're going to be interviewing with. What you can control is polishing your answer to that question a little bit more and connecting with your peers in, in the PM Accelerator community, which is an amazing mastermind group, and, and get that feedback on how you can tighten up your answers. Control what you can control and keep getting better with every interview. Yes, um, especially we recently heard like Meta laid off 13% employees, Amazon laid off um, 10,000 employees and lots of layoffs and out there. If people going out there and slightly the first dip of the job, is taken by people in fan companies, so you need to compete with them. You brought up something regarding that emotionally it's very scary. Um, so can you elaborate more? Actually, you spend lots of time talking about how you shift your mindset inside of the PMA community. Can you be specific? For example, what did you tell yourself? Do you do lots of meditation or you stop reading news given you know they are laying off people? So what specific things uh, you did to shift the mindset? You always ask great questions. Um, for me, uh, my approach to important matters in life starts with a deep contemplation of my purpose, why I'm here and what's most important. And, you know, being a, becoming a parent and, and you can relate, obviously, it changes everything in your life. Yeah. Everything becomes more meaningful. Uh, everything becomes more significant. And when you realize how competitive the world is and you have an awareness of that, mm-hmm. you want to do everything in your power if, if you rightly recognize how precious and valuable your kids are, you want to do everything in your power to set them up for success and to take care of your family. And, and that means making sacrifices. That means making choices and prioritizing what is more important over what is less important. Um, and I mean, I'm, I'm a very competitive person. I have been my whole life and have demonstrated that in every area of my life. I know that. But That's funny. There's lots of competitive people out there as well. So like, you've got to bring it and everything matters. Every, you know, in the PM Accelerator program, uh, I could have just waltzed through that program and and lollygagged my way through it and not gotten value out of it. But you push your students, you you create an atmosphere that brings out the best in your students. And uh, I certainly benefited a tremendous amount. The value is incredible in the program. And, and that's important because even that's just a microcosm of everything else we're talking about. If you're not bringing it in that kind of a mastermind group like you have created with your PM Accelerator program, then, I mean, other people are going to be passing you. So it all starts with that deep, purposeful understanding of uh, that drives the motivation for everything. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's how I really drove past those challenges. It starts with that. This is very powerful, very amazing, especially you start with uh, the purpose working hard is really creating the better life for your family and for your kids. And they are the true motivation behind it. Yeah, when you came in, actually, you were ta- talking about you just had a baby. At the time, your baby is, your baby is one month old, right? Just was born. Yes. You're like, I need to get this done, Nancy. I need to get into tech industry as a product manager. This is what I'm meant for. I, I want to provide the best life for my kids, for my family. And you did it. This is a true motivation behind loss of like strong dads trying to push through to the next level. I'm so proud of that. Oh, thanks, Nancy. Yeah, it was, you know, I, I do want your audience to know, I mean this sincerely. I mean, I took one look at your program and I first encountered your content on YouTube, uh, you know, just doing some research. I immediately recognized your genius. Um, and, and that was confirmed through my experience in your program. Obviously, I mean, you know, youngest PhD in, in, in your school's history, you did a phenomenal job there on, on, you know, the science, on the engineering side. But also when it comes to business, you're an absolute boss. And that really comes out in your program. It's incredible. Uh, and and your, your academic training there at MIT, it, it doesn't stop there. You brought that to the companies that you worked with in your career path. And... You've disseminated all that to your students and the frameworks that you teach really equip your students for success. And and that's one of the things that I want to emphasize for your students, anybody that's you know sitting on the fence, not sure if this is the right program for you. Of course, there's different product management programs out there, but I chose the PM Accelerator program because I got the sense of authenticity from Nancy, which my experience validated that initial impression. Um, there's something special about the community that 
you not only get the interaction with Nancy directly, which is unbelievably valuable because she's a world-class product manager, but she's also got a number of those in her program as, as the leaders in that program that become the mentors that then these little groups form. And it's this incredible synergy that just continues to uh, organically build momentum positively. And without that, uh, I probably would still have a lot of blind spots and have blinders on and tunnel vision. Um, Anthony, you brought up something regarding open up your horizon and having blind spots. So can you give us examples regarding your blind spot and how did you discover those and how did you actually fix your blind spot? Well, with broadening horizons, for example, when it comes to say, you know, compensation and understanding what's possible out there, it's a very nuanced and complex matter, uh, compensation. It's not so easy to always discover what's possible and what's out there. But mm -hmm. you're hyper leveraging your ability and your access to information in a mastermind group like the PM Accelerator program. And you are constantly on the cutting edge, obviously, as, as the CEO of PM Accelerator and, and your, your team are on the cutting edge of like, you know, what's the best? What's the best available out there and the strategies to take and the tactics to execute to get there? I mean, if you want to venture and, and discover all that on your own, all the power to you, but alternatively, you can join, you know, the PM Accelerator program and really hyper leverage and quickly accelerate your learning about all the nuances that go into that. Also understanding and hearing from, you know, your peers in the program. Otherwise, all you know is all you know from your own experience. That was one of the big takeaways for me was the broadening of my horizons about what's possible, how things are in other companies. And that, that informs your vantage point. So then you can make some prudent decisions when you're negotiating and when you're declining offers that aren't really uh, exactly what you want for yourself and your family. Yeah, exactly. I remember when you negotiate offer, actually you bump up uh, a lot after you negotiate. That's amazing. So happy to see that. I became more aware of my blind spots through one of the most important features, I think, of your program, Nancy. And, and those are those mock interviews that you do with your peers and, and the relationships that are built there. It's an extremely rich dynamic amongst the peers because there's a mutual interest in wanting to be vulnerable, help one another and vulnerable in the sense of just give authentic feedback, like no egos, how can I get better? Those mock interviews really accelerate and improve your performance almost perhaps like no other form of practice that you could execute in preparation for you know changing jobs and, and make no mistake about it you need a focused effort to be changing jobs you can't just waltz into it and think oh on the strength of my resume alone i'm just going to get a job no it's a performance and you have to execute there are companies out there that you are the right fit for and mm -hmm. do not stop until you find them because they exist and every dimension of your being your, your personality, your particular professional skills, your academic training, and all the experiences you've amassed along the way are preparing you for this next role. But that's only possible if you never give up. Because if you give up, you'll never find the connection with that right company, but continue to pursue it. Uh, is it intimidating that, you know, a lot of thanked company employees, former employees on the resume are in the job market? Yeah, it is, but it's yeah. not impossible. And no great thing in life is accomplished, you know, without extraordinary effort. So it, it's now or never. There is opportunity. And, and Nancy, I do want to credit you as well. There was a, a time during my journey and in my focused job hunt here where I connected with you to ask you your thoughts on the landscape and the economy because things were yeah. looking pretty rough. And, you know, just like you do in every other aspect of of your program you're just teaching decomposition you know if, if you look at the economy and see the downturn and you leave your analysis at that you will wrongly conclude that oh shucks the economy is looking rough i guess i won't get this product manager job i'm looking for in a big tech company mm -hmm. well no let's decompose it a little bit let's look more specifically at the details these companies over here are cutting but these companies over here in this segment of the economy, they're actually hiring. So pursue those and don't just stop at a superficial analysis that says, oh, the economy is generally rough. Therefore, I won't be successful in my pursuit. That's not true. This is amazing. Thanks for sharing. Yes, exactly. We do a lot of in-depth analysis regarding how to navigate the economy. I'm glad you follow the same strategy and then 
a part of manager job at GoDaddy. Um, now, now, Anthony, I do want to switch gear regarding um, your other challenges as being a dad, um, because I personally know it's very challenging. Once you become a parent, the world shifts for the better, but your time is gone. So how did you manage other challenges of being a dad and also doing job hunting? And this is not for everybody. And I think some people might disagree with what I'm about to say because they might have a different philosophy and approach to life. But I'm viewing myself and I'm trying to view myself as a servant here to serve my family. And so, you know, if I think of my time, I'm doing air quotes here, but I've got the filter blurring me out a little bit. If I think of my time as like, oh, I don't get to do this, you know, two nights a week and I don't get to do this that I used to do because it's my time, um, then I'm going to really feel like I'm missing those things. But when I think differently about my time and think that actually my job and my role is to serve and to be putting others ahead of myself, then I don't feel burnt out at all. I feel a real sense of purpose that motivates me to do those things for other people and to be there for those other people be it my children or my wife or there's only so many hours in the day so you have to be wise about your priority relationships um but that's the approach that i've taken to try to manage all these responsibilities is that it's a good thing for me to be serving and to be putting their needs ahead of my own and when i'm thinking about uh what is most valuable to me and, and how I'm prioritizing their needs and desires over my own. That's really invigorating me with a purposeful motivation to every day that gets me up early with a spring in my step so I can accomplish what I need to. Um, so it's like a, a deep, thoughtful approach to, I guess, the relationships in my life that helps me manage the time. Is it a season of life? Yes. Uh, I just have so much respect for my wife because she's doing an amazing job during the long hours I'm putting at work, but uh, it, it's, a, it's a challenge. It's a challenge, but uh, I, I hope that your audience in particular, you know, folks that are married or, or have children, that uh, they can get inspiration that it's possible. You know, it, it's not easy, of course, but uh, life isn't easy. I mean, there's, there's real challenges in life. People are suffering, people are struggling, but there's so much joy to be had despite all the challenges out there and despite the suffering that we all encounter. Uh, stick with it, never give up and, and keep pushing yourself and be there for your loved ones and make a difference. It's an exciting adventure. This is beautiful. Uh, you're such a great husband, great dad. I, I definitely was going to cut off this clip and send it over to your wife. I bet she will be able to give a big hug and cry. I almost cried listening to this. This is beautiful, very beautiful, very amazing. Okay, great. So Anthony, let's do this. Uh, let's also talk about product management. Okay, so we invite you back as part of leader podcast series because you already are product manager out there and you are actually doing two person's job and in the tech industry and especially from fitness industry into tech industry. Now you're doing every aspect of tech. Um, so can you tell us more exactly what do you do as a product manager? What's the day to day look like as a product manager at GoDaddy? The day to day in our organization, and it's exciting for me because, you know, I'm building a new product right now. So it's in the design phase, but because we have such a massive organization and you know, any other PMs that work in larger companies can probably relate. One of the unique challenges in a large organization is getting to understand who the stakeholders are and who does what in the organization and how to effectively uh, move things along, leveraging the influence and you know the, the ability to move things that those stakeholders have. It's difficult because it's not written down anywhere and nobody's going to spoon feed that to you. And there's a lot of complexity and nuance to the way these dynamics work. So in a phrase, stakeholder management is of massive importance when you're working in a big organization like this. And you have to be a, a self-starter uh, because I mean, even like an onboarding plan, like nobody's going to spoon feed you. Nobody's going to hold your hand and walk along, walk you along. So you've got to be a self-starter for everything. Stakeholder management entails a, a ton of meetings, of course, 
and, and these are working sessions. This is not, you know, chatting about the game last night, but it requires all of your concentration and a real attention to the details about how everything is connected across the organization and, and business moves fast. So you gotta be paying attention. I guess my day-to-day -day rhythm, I do like to start early because I like to get all of my messages answered, uh, you know, whether it's Slack messages, emails or whatever, but uh, also time to think and get my information, get all my understanding in formation properly with all the insights gleaned from the previous day, all of what lies ahead, a re-examination of the jobs to be done this week in alignment with the priorities on your roadmap. Yeah, that's how I would characterize it. Thank you. Uh, some quick follow-up question. Are you working from home? You're in Canada right now. So are you working from home for GoDaddy? Yeah, working from home. So uh, most of our team is distributed remote, uh, but I have been down to the Santa Clara, California office, which is amazing. It's great to be in Silicon Valley there. Um, prior to, I guess, recent events, you know, it, it seems like it'll be harder to get me down there uh, as often as we otherwise would like. So I'm pretty much fully working from home now, aside from the one trip down to the office. Yeah. Oh, this is awesome. This is amazing. That's everyone's dream. She's like working for an American company, work, working remotely in your home country. This is beautiful. Especially as a dad with two kids, it's like, let's work from home and do this. This is beautiful. Congrats. Yeah. It, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I'm very, feeling very fortunate and I, I of course worked unbelievably hard to get to this point. The specialized focus and preparation for this job hunt is, it's been life changing for me and my family. And we've got a distributed team across many countries in the world, Brazil, China, India, you're competing with candidates from all over the world, but it's possible. And I'm living proof of that. And, and I hope that, you know, you're encouraged from hearing a little bit about my journey and, and the path. This is beautiful. Okay, let me ask you the last question. What's the most important shift that pushed you to the next level? Well, I knew that I wanted to change and encountering, you know, your content on YouTube, which was like the gateway, the door that led me to your program. I did immediately recognize your genius, but it was another level when I actually joined the program. And I point to that being the shift because could I have attempted to prepare on my own to enter the job market? Sure, but I, I can tell you with high confidence, I, I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for the PM Accelerator program. I've, I've emphasized throughout our time together today how hyper-competitive the job market is, but it's achievable to accomplish your goal. But when you have people like me and like other people that are dedicating themselves to essentially a full-time preparation for the performance in interviews. Like think about how competitive that is, right? So if you're not doing that, it becomes difficult to perform at the same level as the folks who are preparing to that degree. So that for me was, you know, the thing that really uh, changed the trajectory arrow for me. And I was very confident. I recognized the genius and the excellence in your program. And I knew that if I did everything, that you were teaching, I would be successful. It was just a matter of time. I was fully confident in that. Beautiful, beautiful, Anthony. Thank you for sharing with us today. By the way, guys, I didn't pay him to say anything like this, but I'm, I'm so glad to see your success. Thank you very much for sharing with us today, Anthony. And so thank you for joining us and also sharing your thought process as a product leader in the space. And welcome to share us again in our exclusive alumni community as a panel speaker. Uh, they're looking forward to hear all the insider details, how you get into your level and like getting a remote PM position working in Canada for the US company. Like this is amazing. Awesome. Okay, great. Cool. All right. Thank you for joining us today, Anthony. And also everyone, if you like the content we provide today, please make sure to hit the like button, comment, and share this video with any aspiring product managers out there. Awesome. Thank you for joining us, Anthony. See you guys.